Hello, I'm Dave Cravassier, and right now on your 13 Action News update. Next Tuesday will be the last day for COVID-19 testing at the Thomas and Mack Center. The site is being moved to the Stan Fulton Building. That's located on the southeast corner of University Drive and Flamingo. The location will open Monday, November 30th. County officials also want to remind you no public testing sites will be open on Thanksgiving or the day after. Nevada's economy is slowly recovering. New data from the state shows 3,600 jobs were added to the economy last month. The state's unemployment rate is now at 12 percent. That number is still above the national average. It accounts for six consecutive months of growth. Officials at Dieter also say the number of people applying for unemployment is down. Thieves are leaving the spaghetti bowl dark. According to NDOT, crooks have stolen copper wire from several light poles on the freeway. The state will now be paying $140,000 to fix the lights by next week. The price for copper has gone up more than 50% over the last five years, making copper theft a tempting proposition. Our forecast has dropped off a little bit. We were in the upper 70s yesterday with all of that wind. Uh, we'll be a lot calmer today, but temperatures will be closer to the 70 degree mark. Uh, looks like a little lingering breeze first thing this morning on the south side of the valley, otherwise calm. Temperatures climbing out of the 50s into the 60s this morning with a high of 71 this afternoon. Tonight a low of 50, back near 70 Friday in spite of some clouds. On Saturday and Sunday, a little bit of a breeze, but Dave, temperatures not too bad. 70 Saturday, 67 on Sunday. Hey, Justin, that was your 13 Action News update. You can find out more on our website, ktnv.com, and our free mobile app.